What is up ladies and gentlemen, your boy Just Jay Sama is in the building and today we're talking about my thoughts and opinions on The Division. So I had a very, very long ranty version, uh, but Audacity was like, nah bruh, I'ma crash. So I have to re-record and I remember almost nothing that I said. Most of the stuff is super constructive, but whatever. Um, let's try and uh, get it together. Uh, so far, I have to say the division is ridiculously fun. Like, I, I didn't, I knew the game was gonna be good. I didn't know it was gonna be this good. Honestly, the division is the best multiplayer game I've, I've ever played. Like ever. Like it's impossible to compare it to any other multiplayer game. I, I just can't. Uh, there's there's just so many things that the division does right and it's hard to look at the stuff that it does wrong um, But to kind of it's easier to point out the stuff that's wrong than right um, so I think um, Honestly without like without having the fan fanboy goggles on It's hard even now to see what the division does wrong like there's been a couple of bugs and stuff and I'm playing on PS4 There's been a couple of bugs where you're like uh, not that I'll fall through the map, but I'll have like grenades and stuff fall through the map, and that's kind of annoying. Um, some of my traps don't detonate. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, but the stuff that the Division does correctly, it does multiplayer awesome, it does, uh, skills awesome. It, 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 this is basically a game where you have to do a lot of reading, and a, and a lot of, uh, number crunching and stuff like that, so if anybody, if you've ever played Borderlands, correctly maybe maybe not correctly but if you've ever d played borderlands i guess i could say professionally where you build a certain type of character and create them a certain type of class and things like that this game that's that's what this game does it rewards you for picking a certain class and and going with a certain build and uh trying to increase a certain um you know stat and things like that like this isn't a game where you could be a jack of all trades you just can't do it because there's too many things that focus on uh, solo stuff. Like, um, not so much like being a solo player, um, I mean like solo skills. Like, uh, the fact that you can be a healer, and if you wanna be a healer, that means you have to be a fucking tank. So if you're a tank, that means your attack isn't gonna be very high because you can't, you can't carry the ne necessary um, assault attributes because they're two completely different things. You can't, you can't um, accurately, um, be, be a, a, a spear or a sword a part of the a part of your team if you're going to uh, heal people and then that's another thing is if you're gonna be a defensive player you can be a tank but you can't be an assault player you just you just can't you can't um, you could possibly be um, a support you could be a support player because there's a uh, like like the LMGs that you can use and stuff with very high attack that's probably um, the best thing that you're gonna be able to do but whereas a player like me I use assault rifles I use uh, element damage most of the stuff I use is shock electric fire damage like uh, uh, it's just it's just impossible to play with more than one playstyle in mind. It, and if you do, if you do successfully almost try and do it, I haven't seen it done yet. Is uh, your gadgets will will be lackluster because you can't um, you can't put all the stats that you want towards your gadgets because then you'll have uh, you have sh you'll just have shitty defense. Like there's just so many uh, loopholes and things like that. So um, for myself. Like I said, I'm an assault. I, I use elemental damage. There's a whole lot of shit I, I do that's... Um, I'm basically... I'm Fire Lord Ozai in this fucking game. Basically, when I show up on the scene, niggas burst into flames. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Because I have these Seeker Mines that actually uh, cause, cause burn damage and explode. And they have a uh, napalm in them. And uh, I also do 40% more damage for burn damage. And if... And if uh, some other enemies or allies uh, are using burn damage and it also protects them against burn damage and it's like it's it's it, it all wraps together and if I use incendiary bullets it does 80% uh, more damage and if I use uh, incendiary grenades 80% more damage and then uh, I also have this perk where if uh, if I use any incendiary rounds or grenades or anything like that uh, or a bomb uh, then the explosion radius is, uh, I think it's like 40% 40, 40 higher within a 10 meter radius, so anybody around that area also catches on fire, and, uh, 
it just stacks on top of that so you have a a lot of stacking effects this game does rpg very very good um this is not a team tactical shooter so if you're looking to get into like where you and your friends can do some uh battlefield level shit i mean you can you you can successfully do that in this game and a lot of the NPCs uh, do allow for that, at least the early on ones. Later on, it gets so tactical that that you're gonna need a full a full squad. Like it's almost impossible to play this game alone. Uh, that's another thing is the game is online only. So if you don't have internet, you're kind of fucked. Um, or if you don't believe in having internet uh, for your system or whatever the fuck you're doing with your life, like I'm sorry. There's just, there's just no way around it. it. The game is online only. You have to have a connection at all times. So if your internet is down, you're fucked. Um, but playing the game solo, not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. There's just, at the beginning of the game, it's, it rewards you uh, for doing things solo because you get to experience some of the story. You get to listen to all the echoes and uh, all, discover all of these new uh, files and stuff like that. It works. But whereas if you play multiplayer, you're too busy communicating with your team, trying to get these missions done and get all these strikes and stuff like that. It's it's almost impossible to pay attention to the story. So you are going to need to play this game one or two times all the way through. So um, and I've just I've reached a pretty high level. I'm a pretty high level player and I haven't really understood the story. Like I've just beaten it. I just did the last mission yesterday and the last mission is some fuckery. I, I, I promise you, there's no possible way to do it alone because you will die on the last mission. It's impossible. You can't you can't do it because if you're the only target, you you basically fight this uh, attack helicopter, right? And uh, the helicopter only has one thing to focus on while you have to kill nine other military personnel. So it's just, it's impossible. You can't do it because you have to go and turn on these turrets and then another part is you have to go and like, look and turn on all this electricity and shit so make sure the building is functioning properly turn on all the lights and blah 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 blah. it's just too much shit like you can't do it so you at least need two people like two people minimum is what you can do to beat the last level and there's also other missions where you have to go through and entire buildings are being burned down by factions so you have to uh, you you need more than one person because like I said you can't be a healer once you get later on uh, early on you can do that you can do a lot of missions solo but when you get into the Flatiron District Gramercy uh, Kipps Bay Murray Hill a lot of that shit is like level 20 and plus missions you're not gonna be able to do that stuff alone because you have to pick pick a, a specific class and stick with it at that point once you've reached level 20 if you're still trying to be a jack of all trades and you go into the dark zone thinking that you're fucking done that's it if you don't go into the dark zone with a team first of all this game doesn't reward you uh i mean it does but it doesn't encourage that you go into the dark zone early on you just don't don't do it the minimum level to actually go into the dark zone in the lowest level is level 10. so if you go in there by yourself you are getting bodied 100 percent you're getting bodied you're going to die that's it. it there's no there's no way around it you can get in there successfully extract stuff you will have small moments of where you're victorious but on a grand scale you won't you won't get to experience a lot of the dark zone you won't early on you just won't you won't go past zone one and there's six zones every single zone has uh different level brackets and things like that so the fact that you're at the lowest level and you're gonna struggle there you won't make it to zone two which is the other half that was in the beta so they basically took the zone the the area that was available in the dark zone and they gave they gave it a general ass level on it where you have to be level one through seven and then we also have level eight the dark zone does not work that way anymore it, it, it works very similar to that but it doesn't work that way zone one is probably one of the uh well actually zone three is probably one of the bigger areas um zone four and zone five, zone five and zone six are the smallest but uh zone one is probably one of zone one and two are probably the bigger ones um one and two is from the beta so if you've played the beta you'll know zone one and two fairly well um but anyway to kind of go back to what i was saying make sure you have a team going in there there's there's no winning you you, you can't you can't successfully go into the dark zone thinking you're going to be a jack of all trades that's how, that's how you play this game wrong um because you'll go in there and you'll get bodied by a nigga who's a, who's a tank. He may have low damage, but he'll outlive you, no problem. Because some NPCs will show up and he just has to walk away. 
and you, you could die. That's it. You'll lose all your shit, get it, get it picked up, you're fucking done. That's it. There's no way around it. So, uh, I recommend you, you pick a strategy that you're going to go with, and you stick with it. Don't, don't try and do all this multiple shit. It's just not going to work out for you. I promise. I'm sorry. The game doesn't work that way, but it's a very heavy RPG game. And uh, if you're not used to heavy RPG, this is not a game for you. Um, but to kind of wrap this up, because this is getting a lot longer than it should. Um, essentially, The Division is a $60 purchase. It is, without a doubt. Season pass, everything. Purchase everything. At my Myself, I'm buying everything because this is a game that I've been wanting to play like I've always wanted to play an RPG a, a tactical shooter RPG type of game like I, I've been waiting for a game like this to come out I always thought destiny was gonna be that game but destiny's not it's it's a sci-fi MMO RPG this is a realistic MMO RPG like it's a very realistic situation it, it, the game gets very depressing at some times um, so that's also another reason why you should play with a friend uh, because there's some moments where you'll go, what the fuck is going on here? Like, the shit that these people fucking do. It's like, it is real life. Like, th like a lot of the situations that you'll encounter in this game are stuff you, someone you know or someone you, someone else that you may know would do in real life in a situation like this. They'll do some stupid shit that'll, that'll just get everybody else fucked up. It, it, it will. I'm sorry, it's, it's a lot of the people in this game act like actual people that I know. And the people that I know don't make smart decisions when it comes to uh, very rash, rash and uh, very uh, pr pressure heavy situations. Like it, you just wouldn't, you wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it. Like honestly, if, 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 uh, if the division was a real thing, I would not, I would not survive in post-apocalyptic New York. Like, I just wouldn't. Based upon the things that I know about this game at this point, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I just wouldn't because um, you got to you gotta seriously not care about anybody being in here. You really don't. But that's uh, a different topic for a different day. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you picking up The Division? And why not? If you're not picking up The Division, let me know why so I can talk you out of it. You got to get this game, guys. This game is fucking amazing. Um, but then again, I did talk a lot of you out, out of picking up the game initially in the first place. Because my uh, initial thoughts for this game were pretty pretty spot on with the full game that I've played. So, uh, like I said, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button because I actually like likes. Or hit the dislike button if you didn't like this video. I don't give a shit. <laughs> this has been Jay and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.